Hey everyone, welcome back to Paul's Model Works. And I'm going to be doing a tutorial video here on how to make authentic looking Mexican blankets for your models. Um, I have had quite a few requests on how to do this ever since I built my uh, Tequila Sunrise model a few years ago. And uh, I recently had another request and it just kind of made me remember that I have been needing to do this for a couple of years so here I am doing it so anyway um, you know these are really cool uh, ways to do this and what really makes these uh, Mexican blankets cool or at least being done this way is that they're a little more conformable so you can put them inside your models and uh, you know it's not a printed piece of paper or anything it kind of feels a lot more like uh, a real Mexican blanket would. And then uh, you can see here along the edge of it, um, you know, you've got your fringe, so it, it really does look like a real Mexican blanket in there. And uh, let me turn this around so you can see a little better. So, anyway, this is what today's tutorial is going to be on. So, first of all, let me show you. Um, the different tools that you're gonna need. Start with a roll of, uh, you know, any kind of masking tape. Um, you can use the blue painter's tape, or you can use, you know, just the plain white masking tape. Then uh, you're gonna want your exacto, pair of good scissors, and some thread. Now these are uh, the same colors that I used on my previous blanket. Um, and you know, depending on what kind of colors you want, but these are just some typical colors that are found in Mexican blankets. We've got white or kind of like a cream color, black, a blue here, red, and gold like an orangey gold and uh, those will be the colors that make up our blanket okay so now that you've got your two pieces of tape here that you're going to use what you need to do is take them and you're going to want to overlap one piece over the other it's going to be kind of tricky just because the tape wants to roll back up on itself but if you hold it down you can you can get it somewhat get it so now once you've got your two pieces stuck together I would recommend taking another piece of tape like this and just taping over the ends this will hold it down so you don't have to hold it down later on and it will help keep it from rolling up on you and and coming apart and everything so, there we go. Um, if you look again at this one, you can see that it's just patterns running across um, of colors, and they're not really anything like in order or anything like that. So you just want to kind of pick whatever you want to do. Now, for this one, I am just going to start you know, in the middle of the model. And we'll start with our blue thread. And what you're gonna be doing is taking your thread and cutting it in strips. I know you can't really see this thread too much. Uh, maybe you can there, but you're gonna be taking strips of it, cutting it, and laying it down across your tape. And over time, you're gonna build up layers of color with this until uh, you start to see your Mexican blanket take form. So the easiest thing to do is just take a little bit, lay it down, take your exacto and cut it. And then if you know you need a wide strip of blue, well then you just take another piece of thread and you'll lay it right down next to it. Let me zoom this in a little bit so you can see that better. So you just lay it down right next to it and you can move it around with your finger a little bit once you get it on there and uh, just to get it a little bit better 
Now this is gonna take some time. Um, I think the last time I made one, and you know, it was my first time, so it, it took me about two hours to make one. And uh, so it is gonna take a little bit of time to do, but in the end, it's, it's really worth it just because it's so much more realistic than just a printed piece of paper or something like that in your model. So that's really, you know, all there is to it. I'm just going to go ahead and start working on this and uh, let you guys kind of see the progression of how it looks. Okay, so you can see here that what I'm doing is starting to lay down just my different colors. Um, I'm variating it a little bit. Started with the blue uh, there in the center. Um, then I've got a little bit of a black stripe, a white stripe, black stripe, white stripe, um, and just laying down different um, amounts of thread to make it look thicker. Uh, you know, there's a pretty wide blue, uh, thin black, thin white, thin black, a little bit wider white. Um, and then now I'm going to start laying in some of my other colors, uh, like the gold, and um, we'll just start creating different patterns out of it. Uh, my blue stripe is my center line, so I'm just repeating everything I'm doing on one side of that blue line on the other side as well. Uh, that way, you know, you just makes it a little bit easier to just repeat both sides. That way you're not trying to figure out something for this side, then figure something else out for the other side. Um, so we're just going to keep going here. Okay, now before I go on to my next color here, uh, I just want to share um, another step here. As I get ready to go from gold into red, I want it to look more like a fade. So what I'm going to do to achieve that look is I'm going to lay down a red, then a gold, then a red, then a gold, and then I will go into my red completely. And what that will do is it sort of will make it look like there's a little bit of a fade going on between the two colors. Okay, so what I've done here is I cut out my blanket. Um, you see it's still on the tape. I just cut it off of the tape that I had uh, laying down here. And then I just took my scissors and trimmed the very edges of this, uh, just you know, along the edges there, and took off all of the excess uh, string hanging off. And now you have a nice little uh, blanket. So the next thing we're gonna do is do the fringe that would be along um, the end of the blanket. So you're going to want to get yourself another little strip of tape. And uh, just lay that out. If it ever will stop sticking to my fingers. <laughs> okay, and then I've already gone and pre-cut uh, some string here for this but these are just some little uh, tiny strips of that white uh, thread that I had and what you're going to want to do is just lay them on uh, your the very edge of your piece of tape here
Okay, now that we have our string on a piece of tape, then what you want to do is take your Mexican blanket and you're just going to lay that right across uh, the tape that has that on there and then just stick it down to it. Now we've got, you know, a little bit of fringe sticking out there. Then you'll come in, just trim off these excess pieces of tape here on the sides. And then the last step that you'll need to do is to make your fringe look a little more uniform and even. We're just gonna take our scissors and trim right across like that. And there you go. And now you have your fringe on uh, the edge of your blanket there. This is pretty much, I'll show you this a little bit closer. This is pretty much all there is to it. You'll just repeat the same process on the other end um, of the blanket to get the fringe on both sides. And you'll have a little blanket that you can do something with for your models. Uh, you can, you know, throw it on the interior of your rat rods or, you know, um, lay it down on a beach or something or, you know, anything like that. And uh, they're not too hard to make. Like I mentioned, um, they are a little time consuming just because of all the threads you have to lay down. Um, but they are really easy to make and they look really convincing once they're done. So that is it for the Mexican blanket tutorial. Hopefully you guys will be able to use it. And until next time, keep building those awesome models.